Bring your company over to the Western Wall. I'll defend the interior myself. Yes, Lady Catherine. Been a while since I've had the pleasure of watching you work, Catherine. <laughs> I could say the same of you. It's been, what, two years now since you left the Knights? You picked some time for a reunion. The Kingdom called and I answered, that's it. Besides... Uh, what? If you got words for me, then spit them out. Words, huh? You know, I wasn't sure what to expect when I heard there was an ex-bandit playing general over here. But your orders are precise, and you have some serious tactical know-how. If I didn't know any better, I'd think you were a trained leader. Sometimes even bandits have great commanders. Not often, but I've seen it happen. <laughs> Our lands were always under siege by Srang forces. Got defense strategies practically beaten into me when I was a little kid. You really are the former heir to House Gautier, then. I heard a lot about you when I was a kid myself. I'd always hoped to spar with you one day. Never thought you'd end up disowned. Cram it. I'm the one who cut ties with that rotten house of mine. You've done well to stay alive since. Yeah, because I've got a purpose now. I'm gonna show the world that if I act all proper, even a crestless loser like me can accomplish whatever he wants. Ugh, made me sick to my stomach hearing that drivel. Even sicker coming from some weak-willed king with a crest who's been spoon-fed his whole life. Yet here you are, fighting in his army. And well at that. Yeah, turns out the king's not the only weak-willed one around here. You know what they said to me? That I wasn't going to be held back by crests anymore. That the only thing tying me down now was my own past mistakes. Now look at me, square at the top of a squad full of crest bearers and non alike. But ridiculous as it sounds, part of me's actually come to like it. Lady Catherine, our enemies are within the fortress. But. All of the gates were sealed! This is Aryan Road we're talking about. There's probably more than a few hidden passageways we're not aware of in here. The former lord of this fortress, Count Roe, fell in battle. But I doubt he was the only one familiar with the secrets of its construction. Then we'll have to fight them off until reinforcements arrive. I will cut these trespassers down in one fell swoop. We don't even know how many of them there are yet. <sighs> Looks like I'm finally settling my debts. Such a bleak outlook will only consign you and your soldiers to defeat. Why you... <sighs> Forget it. Look, if you want to make it out of this alive, you'll listen close. A fortress like this has always got a secret passage. There's only a few places it could be. The fighting has reached Aryan Road's inner walls. The enemy must have entered through some unknown route. Eh, I'm glad they're already in. Just means more chances to show what I can do. I appreciate your confidence. Is everyone prepared? Today, we will deal a decisive blow not only to the vile Emperor, but you all have addressed you. And I will be depending on each and every one of you to do it. Now, with me! used a secret passage to infiltrate the fortress and have already engaged Catherine and her unit. <laughs> 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 
them. Let us help them at once. We cannot afford failure here. Mario Road is too valuable. So they really did find a back way in. Seems like the main gate's still closed. Thankfully, the controls aren't too far off. units around the controls for the gate. We'll need to fight our way past them if we're to have any hope of opening them. This bothered me. Guess I've lost a step. That's... Shamir! We must assist her! condition. Surprised you came for me. I guess I should return the favor. Keys and forces! Quick, request reinforcements from the main army. Stop the messengers! If we send in more troops, we'll never reach the main hall. Safe here. Please, go. We will proceed as planned. We rest. You can leave this to us. Appreciate it. I owe you one. Stand. One of the Gautier brats, huh? Don't tell me you actually want to fight. <laughs> I'm a lot more than some stupid family name. I'll knock you to death. Isn't someone a vice to you? Show me what you can do. If Juan and Gwendol are fighting, I'll do it. But it's probably for the best that I don't go help him, honestly. Perhaps, but we can't stand it either. Let us open this gate and hurry to McLon's aid. So we have to open this gate before we can open the one at the main hall? Well, that's annoying. True to its fame, the Silver Maiden's arsenal is robust indeed. There. No reinforcements should be showing up now. That's one. Not bad, but not good enough to beat me, well. It might be different if you had a crest, but there's no way I'm losing to some crestless old man. <laughs> you sure know how to bark, but can you bite? Let's find out, shall we, Miklon? Did it 
appears we're in time. We will help bolster the main hall. Wow, the old man's here. I guess it really never hurts to ask. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of... to locate it. You really don't hold any... expect you to give me that much trouble. You put up a fine fight, Well, Or should I say, Sir Mikla? I may have disowned him as my son, but I see no reason not to avenge him. forces away from the main hall. That brother of mine really was something. Everyone prepare to fire! We'll give him hell! We won't get very far like this. We need to shut those weapons down first. <laughs> Hear you loud and clear. I'll make Let's begin. It's you've got spirit, daughter of Karen. I'm impressed. <laughs> That's big talk from someone who looks like he's got one foot in the grave. Oh no, Catherine! We must go to our aid! Let's take the stronghold. Now the stronghold is ours. Let's turn these things off. I see the whelps are all here. Think any of you can kill me? Sorry you had to come back me up. We managed. Thanks to you. Take this! As far as graves go, this is a dream. With no lord to save faces adversity indeed. Guess I really dragged you down there. Thanks for the help. I live 
I'm going. That should put a stop to the attacks, too. Should be disabled too. You well, done it. All that's left is to invade the main hall. Report: A large imperial force is advancing on the Aryan Road perimeter. And I bet the Emperor is with them. What's our move, for? We will not give the fortress back to them. All forces, move to intercept. You should know that this fortress is one fun surprise after another. Well, would you look at that? A hidden staircase. You opened another secret passage? Whatever that is must be quite familiar with... The construction of this place. It's someone from House Row. Oh, then maybe we can persuade him to join our side. Orion Road is a key position for us. We must retake it, even if we suffer losses in the process. I can't believe I got myself dragged out here. If they get the main hall, we'll lose the whole battle. Plus, we've got to protect the strongholds all around it, too. I knew it! You're from House Rook! We sure could use you on our side. What do you say? Well, let me put it that way. I guess I would prefer not to get butchered. Prepare a volley of arrows. Show them the results of your training. Too easy. <laughs> Another one to keep my eye on. Fire. Couldn't someone else have handled this? What am I even doing here? Let me at him! Oh, I'm oh, really doing it now. Who knows if I can even hold out until Her Majesty gets here. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. I'll be dropping out here. I'm not ready to die yet after all. Imperial Minister of Domestic Affairs. My reasons for being here are my own. I live! I'll do it. <laughs> there won't be much use if I'm wounded and hurt. <laughs> There's no 
chance of giving myself to your death. I shall retreat. Nice one. That's a huge relief. Excellent. Is the Vanguard commanders dealt with? The question now is, where is Edelgard? We will crush the Kingdom Army and seize Aryan Road once and for all. Forward! This battle shall determine the fate of the Western Front. We must show them the might of the Empire! My turn? Here, the war is over. Everyone, now is the time to rally against the Empire. We must not lag behind Edelgard. Everyone, forward! They've mobilized. We must defeat them quickly. I live for this! I'm going. Unfortunately. I really do have quite a lot to live for, so I must take my leave. But revenge will be mine! He's gone. I would have liked to take him out here and now, though, considering how... ...spirit is. I have nothing more to say to you. This ends now. No regrets! I suppose it does, Edelgard. Let us finish this. It will take more than this to stop me! It seems you are the victor in this fight. I bid you farewell. No escape! Indeed, this moment will be the doom of you both. Talus. Dear Edelgard, it has been far too long. Is it so? Have you really found an ally in Dimitri? What lie is this? So you are not allies? That makes more sense. I can't imagine you joining forces with the man who killed your father. <laughs> if what you say is the truth, if this man murdered my father, then you and I have much to talk about. Till then, nobody lays a hand on you. I'm all right. Really. No, you're not. And I'm not gonna let you die here, okay? <sighs> I promised you, didn't I? By your side. Always. Your Majesty, the Imperial Army makes to retreat. As for that monster, it's disappeared. 
Understood. After what happened to Edelgard, I dare say they had little choice. We must treat your wounds, Your Majesty. They will only worsen without proper rest. You needn't worry about me. The Empire is on the back foot. This is our chance. Secure Aryan Road at once! Yes, Your Majesty. Edelgard called my father's killer, Tallis. Hey, Dimitri. I didn't catch more than a glimpse of the guy, but something's not sitting right with me. His power was so familiar. Do you think he's another one? Like Tomas? And like me? How am I connected to them? Just what is this power I have? I understand your concern, but my thinking remains unchanged from two years ago. Whatever the truth of your abilities may be, I trust you, and I will continue to do so. I only wish I had more to say than that. My apologies. Still, if your power truly is the same as that of Tomas or this Talus, then we may find that the questions hanging over the two of us share a single answer. What do you mean? Edelgard said it was Talus that murdered my father. Of course, it is the peak of folly to take an enemy's word at face value. But if she spoke true, then neither the Western Lords nor the Empire are the root of this strife. Another faction skulks in the shadows of Fodlan, bending matters to their will. And if we suppose Cornelia was party to Talus and his dark schemes, her actions become all the more explicable. I alone must bring light to this darkness. You're doing it again. You don't hold a monopoly on revenge, you know. Or on truth-seeking, for that matter. I need to know what happened, too. I need to face the reality of my past. I'm in, too. I want my father to finally have closure. I know I don't have the same kind of shared history all of you do. But I do share your desire to know the truth, both about myself and everything else. Yes. Yes, you're right. Forgive me. For the time being... <sighs> Dimitri... We have defended the fortress ably, but lost countless capable officers and soldiers in the process. Even I will need time to recover before I can wield my lance anew. Once we've secured the Silver Maiden, we'll return to the capital. <sighs> Edelgard. Are you certain? Most. Adrestia is yours to command in the Emperor's stead. None remain who can stop your ascension to the peak of this empire. And what says Her Majesty? Nothing at present. A grave injury suffered during the Siege of Aryan Road has left her unable to speak. Come now, Duke. Haven't you always dreamt of saving your dear empire in its time of greatest need? Hmm, yes, uh, you have a point. I will take up arms to solve this crisis. Under my rule, we shall crush the kingdom and alliance both, and unite all of Fodlin beneath the ever-majestic banner of Adrestia. The unfulfilled ambition of countless emperors past will be made manifest by none other than myself. Ludwig von Eyer, savior of the Empire. <laughs> then we will lift you up from the darkness until the day you inevitably stumble back down.
Having driven off the Empire and defended Aryan Road, Fargus gains a distinct advantage on the Western Front, while the indisposed Emperor retreats to her palace in Enbar. Capitalizing on Edelgard's condition, control of Adrestia is wrested away by the now regent Ayer. However, the citizenry grows quickly resentful of his brutal manner of governance. Azure Gleam, Fanaticism. The year is 1182. Five moons have passed since the battle at Aryan Road. While the war itself has changed little in this time, Adrestia has undergone a striking transformation. Its rivers run red with the blood of its citizens, who are beset by rampant pillage and slaughter. Dimitri resolves to kill the Emperor dismantle Adrestia, and put an end to this grim reality. Is this true, Lady Rhea? It is. Edelgar told me as much before she left to deal with the upheaval in Enbar. Regent Volkhard von Arendel was colluding with Tomas and his fellow knaves. For many years, Lord Arendel was a pious adherent to the Church and its teachings. Until one day, his contributions abruptly ceased. Speaking of it now, I realize such a sudden change ought to have raised suspicion. Just like Tomas, he became an entirely different person almost overnight. We had a similar occurrence in Fargus as well. Do you know of the court mage Cornelia? The one who cured the plague, yes? So she too. Indeed. I have reason to believe she conspired with Lord Arendelle to murder my father. I had assumed them to be agents of the Empire, striving to sow discord within our lands. Yet back at Aryan Road, the Emperor herself was assaulted by a dark mage who we can assume is in league with Tomas. Whoever these people are, they clearly have their own objectives in this conflict. As for the man who appeared, Thomas, was it? It seemed as though the Emperor recognized him. Yes. She also claimed this Thomas was the one responsible for my father's death. I find it difficult to take a bitter enemy's assertion as fact. But the pieces do fit. Sorry, am I interrupting? It's been a while, Dimitri. Rhea? That it has, Claude. I'm sorry you had to come all the way to Ferdiad for this. That makes two of us. I could think of plenty of better places for a meeting than this chilly old capital of yours. Of course, I'm the one who asked to stop by in the first place. Thanks for seeing me, Dimitri. The Empire sure been busy lately. An uprising over here, a siege over there... You'd think they'd get tired of causing so much chaos. But now they're looking to cross the Aramid and do the exact same in Alliance territory. I doubt it'll be long before we start getting hit with some serious losses. Which brings me to my point. What say we partner up and use our combined strength to bring the Empire down? I am grateful to hear such a suggestion, Claude. Hardened as our soldiers may be, even the combined force of the Kingdom and the Knights of Seros pales in comparison to the staggering might of Adrestia. If we ever hope to take their capital, We'll need to splinter their army between east and west. And, as Enbar lies in the southernmost reaches of the Empire, carving a path to it will not be an easy task. I could get behind scattering their troops, but they've got a bear of a man in Count Burgley's defending their eastern flank. Passing through Hevering territory in the west won't be smooth sailing either. The Agma Mountains aren't exactly what I'd call welcoming. Right. 
Any attempt at head-on assault will leave our forces depleted and exhausted before we even reach the capital. But hey, you're in luck. I have a plan. A way we can target Enbar without so much hassle. All we have to do is claim one vital stronghold, and their sway in Fodland will shrink dramatically. Any ideas what it is? Garrig Mark. Hey, you really know your stuff, Dimitri. Garrig Mark is sacred to us. Reclaiming it would provide a significant boost to morale. But how do you propose we strike at such a well-fortified location? We'll draw the Imperial Army out to our respective front lines, then launch a pincer attack on the old monastery from both the east and the west. That's not the fanciest plan in the world, but it's all we've got right now. Then allow me to suggest an idea of my own. I believe we should approach by way of Ayla. The valley is not closely guarded by the enemy, and its narrow paths negate any numerical advantage they may hold over us. If all three of us dispatch our best warriors, then I am certain we can retake Garrick Mach. The Valley of Torment, huh? You're a better tactician than I gave you credit for, Rhea. How about this? First, we create a diversion by sending separate forces to the east and west and making it look like we aim for their capital. That'll split their focus. Then, when the time's right, we shift our attention to Garrick Mach, sending an army through the Valley of Torment to reclaim it. The issue then becomes how to hold our ground on both the eastern and western fronts. The west does not concern me on its own, but we will have Count Burglies to contend with in the east. The trick is engaging the enemy as little as possible. And don't worry, I've got a few surprises up my sleeve if we need them. The Knights of Seros may be few in number, but they are all the more agile for it. They will act separately, providing reinforcements wherever necessary. Thank you, Lady Rhea. The support is much appreciated. Tell me, Dimitri, are you going to stay buddied up with the Central Church once this war is over? My people still seek their guidance. So long as that is the case, I will continue to offer them shelter. Meaning what? You'd toss them out on the street if nobody needed them anymore? I doubt such a day would ever dawn. Territories may change, but people's hearts will always be stubborn things. Even if we started our own church like the Empire has, there's no guarantee our citizens would accept it in any timely manner, or at all. Let me ask you, Claude. How long do you plan to maintain this partnership with the Kingdom? I hope we can keep this beautiful thing going for many years, long beyond the trouncing we're about to hand the Empire. That glint in your eye says otherwise. But... I'm glad to accept you as an ally, for the time being at least. Come on, you can't seriously be doubting me already. Learn to trust a little, Dimitri. And speaking of trust, I trust you'll be throwing a big feast tonight to celebrate the occasion? I can't wait to taste that old-fashioned Fargus hospitality. Hard to believe it's already been six months since the siege back at Aryan Road. Quite. It's no surprise we've been at a standstill, though. Both the Empire and Kingdom suffered heavy losses during the battle. But lucky for us, it seems the ice is finally thawing. Let's hope you've kept your wits as sharp as your blade all this time. Ah, oh, there you are. Hey, uh, what are they doing here? Were you not made aware? Our fine leaders have seen fit to integrate our armies, as we'll be fighting on the same side from here forward. Claude was quite insistent on our joining you on the Western Front. I just wish it wasn't so c cold here. I can feel my muscles tightening up already.
Yes. I had hoped the cold would at least bring a picturesque snowscape with it, but alas. I'm sorry to say we receive little snowfall in this part of the kingdom. I imagine our winters aren't all too dissimilar from those you experience in Leicester. So, um, what would you like us to do? Well, I guess there are two options. Either you all can stay on the front lines with us, or join the rear guard and help in a more indirect way. Either is more than acceptable for us, though I should say our preference would be to fight by your side. If we fail to distinguish ourselves here, there will be no end to Claude's sarcastic wit upon our return. Let's take them at the front with us. That's where we're going to need the most help. Agreed. We can discuss further with the others later, but it's safe to assume that is the direction we'll head. Very well. Allow us to show you what Alliance soldiers are capable of. <laughs> nice of Claude to be sending us back up. Indeed. It's hard to know what their motivations may be, but we need all the help we can muster. Your tone's telling a different story, though. What's up? It's merely that... We all have our own reasons for taking part in this fight. Everyone, Claude, Rhea, even us. Each side is watching the other like famished hawks for the slightest hint of foul play. What? You mean there's more to this thing than just stopping the Empire? Yes. For my part, I would like to uncover the true nature of this enemy hidden in the shadows of Fodlan. The Church likely wants little beyond the reclamation of Garrick Mach. As for Claude, uh, who can say? Rodrigue should be joining us here in the coming month, after he's finished tying up loose ends in the West. But even as our numbers burgeon, we can't afford to lower our guard. The situation demands constant vigilance. Hmm. 
How may I help you? That reminds me. Yeah. <laughs> 
Got a second? So the story is... moment. You sure? for you. Hmm. I have an idea. I've... I have an... I have a worthy proposition. I have an idea. I'll do it. Now then. Impressive. Hmm. 
know.